every time a young girl comes in and asks me for advice, if you start your conversation with how hard is it as a black woman or how hard is it as a woman, I turn you around. Because I cannot, we cannot look at the roadblocks and see the road at the same time. So I choose to see the road ahead. There are challenges for black women. There are challenges for white women. There are challenges, imagine, you know, here you are a Latino reporter and you are solid as a rock and you hear someone say that, you know, Mexicans are brought to this country, uh, you know, and they're sending rapists and murderers. I mean, we all have these challenges and stereotypes that exist, but you can't let that hold you down. So when I make the reference about the gang unit, of course, that, you know, 1990s, I'm curious, I'm just out of college, why suddenly, you know, the news director at the time thought that I had some kind of inroad, you know, to the gang world. Yes, I would be lying if I didn't say, what? was that about? But I'm a journalist. I'm going to go in and do my job. It's not from a place of, of uh, exposure to gangs that I was good at it. I was good, I hope, because I dedicated myself to being a good reporter and covering the story effectively. But we all have roadblocks. We all have challenges. You know, I'm a southerner. When I first went to Temple University, uh, in Philadelphia, you know how many jokes I heard that, oh, how many cattle do you own, you know, or that I'm a slow southerner. We have challenges, but if that's the first thing you think about as a black woman is the challenge that lies ahead, you are thinking in the wrong direction, in my opinion. What's a challenge that you still face in your day-to-day -day life? Waking up. I hate the alarm clock. <laughs> I, don't, I don't look at my life that way. I can't. You cannot. I cannot look at the challenges and still get to where I need to be. Again, going back to my background, you know, the average income for an African-American family in Luling, Texas, I believe, was below $16,000. I can't live my life like that. I have three nieces and a nephew. I don't guide them in that way. I guide them to look at how can you overcome it. If you keep running into a brick wall, as they say, don't keep running into it. Find a way over it. So I have people who tweet and ask me, you can't be this happy all the time, or you can't be this cheerful. Well, yes, I am. From where I've come from and my family and what I see as real struggles in day-to-day -day life through my reporting, I'm never going to look at challenges. I will never answer that question of what are the challenges I face. You speak it into existence, and I choose to save that air for other things.